project websites are integrated into the program website using Gentix content management system. To access the CMS of the website, follow the link which is indicated in the user manual for the website. Here, enter the login details into the login mask. And by hitting OK, you will enter the content management system of your website. The user profile is located on your right hand side. Here you can change the language. In case your CMS appears in a German, it is good to try switching between the languages a couple of times in order for the system to recognize the English. You can also change your password here just by typing new password and confirming the password. User profile and user rights are actually automatically linked to your login. These are assigned already by the system administrator and they also define possible working steps that you are allowed to carry out in the system. The display of elements in the navigation menu is also linked to this. As soon as you log into the system, the content of the current folder will be listed uh, in the content section. To get to your project folder, Click through the home folder until you reach your project folder. The user interface of the CMS consists of uh, three sections. On the very top is the search section. So for example, if you would like to search for contacts, the CMS already starts looking for the matching folders or information. Uh, in your CMS. Then it is the navigation tree, which has been already predefined in certain respect. So your project, the website already comes with a certain number of folders. For more information on this um, folder structure, refer to the tutorial on working with the folders. And at the very bottom is your project homepage. Remember to keep the home page as it is. Do not change it, do not alter it, because this page link is connected to the short acronym of your website and the short link to your website. If you click on any of the elements in the navigation tree, so for example, on a project home page, the third section of the interface will appear which we see now on the right hand side. And this is the content section. So basically in this section, all object which you select via the navigation column will be displayed. And here you can work on editing them.